After the successful launch of Aditya L1 at Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh on September 2nd, the Indian Space Research Organization has now put out a first update related to the earthbound maneuvers of Aditya L1. So yes, ISRO says that the first earthbound maneuver has been successfully performed by Aditya L1. So remember in total that the ISRO is looking forward to a five earthbound maneuvers. So one has already been performed, four are pending. So second one will be performed on September 5th at uh, 3 p.m. is what ISRO is saying and the Aditya L1 as we do know that it will be traveling almost 1.5 million kilometers from the earth before it gets injected to its designated point in the halo orbit that is L1 from where it will be observing the sun directly and collecting all the and will be collecting all the crucial information and sending back to the scientific community the ISRO wants to study the sun solar activities from a long time so yes it has been a dream uh, mission of the ISRO which has finally come true and in fact what ISRO also says that uh, uh, the Aditya L1 will remain uh, in the Earth's orbit for the 16 days uh, before it reaches to the L1 point which is its designated uh, point near the uh, Sun and the Earth's uh, system and also ISRO says in total uh, seven payloads that are actually on board of the Aditya L1 four of them will be observing the Sun uh, directly from uh, the, from that L1 point and also rest of that tree will actually be measuring the in-situ uh, parameters of the plasma and the magnetic field. So remember the ISRO wants to study all the solar activities of the sun. So one of course we do know that this mission has been taken up to study the outermost layer of the sun and also uh, chromosphere, the photosphere, all these layers will be studied in depth by the Aditya L1. Uh, so this has been a dream project and this is another historic uh, day that the India also witnessed on a second of uh, uh, September so more maneuvers will be performed in the coming days as well uh, and in fact it will take four months uh, for the Aditya L1 to reach uh, L1 point in the uh, halo orbit from where it will be observing the Sun without any sort of a hindrance without even if there are eclipses, there won't be any sort of uh, trouble for the Aditya L1 so that is what uh, uh, the ISRO is saying but this is an another interesting mission that the ISRO has uh, taken up to understand understand the space weather, the solar winds, the solar activities as well and to what how things affect also to the uh, when it comes to the earth as well because of the solar activities. So this is going to be in depth a study in fact that the ISRO has taken up related to the solar uh, sun's outermost uh, layer. Now yes Indians are most excited because along with Chandrayaan 3 the ISRO will continue to give more uh, updates about the Aditya L1 as well of how it has been performing, what is that the activities it is taking up and what elements it has also uh, found. So that is going to be quite interesting about both now uh, with the Chandrayaan 3 as well as with Aditya L1.